Well, I think it's really what you need are clear provisions in the Constitution, as clear as you can make them, and some very robust institutions, particularly courts, because the court will decide, will have to interpret the Constitution and decide what it means and decide disputes between state and federal government. So I think building sound institutional arrangements is really the most critical thing. So I mean the powers, which powers are you giving to the states and which powers are you giving to the federal government? Um, setting up a mechanism for deciding where there's a disputation so you get a clear answer to that. Mm -hmm. And also setting up encouraging um, the setting up of arrangements between the states, or you're going to call them regional governments, the regional governments and the federal governments, so that there's cooperation. The, the idea that the regions can just go and do whatever they like and the federal government can do whatever it likes is not a reality. In the 21st century, people have to cooperate. There's too many crossovers. So, you know, is it an education question or is it a treaty question or maybe the same question, maybe it's the same thing about, say, universities and how you run universities is governed maybe by treaty, by issues about trade, by issues about local regional development, by issues about local culture. Mm -hmm. So the one issue engages both the regional government and the federal government and you have to have machinery to try and sort out these different views.